So let's start with your name, your class, and your position. I'm Katherine Hodges. I am class of 2016, and I'm the political chair for Mock Convention 2016. So tell me about, actually tell me about what the political chair does. The <laughs> That's good. Good start. The political chair is in charge of making sure the prediction is correct. We set up teams of research analysts and state chairs and regional chairs to basically conduct grassroots research to predict who each state will predict as their... <laughs> I am... <laughs> um, to predict who each state uh, will vote for their nominee. Okay, let's, let's summarize yeah. what the political chair does. The political chair makes sure that the prediction is correct. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> so, say, so say that again, and then just add, and, and the way we do that is <laughs> okay. make sure the prediction is correct <laughs> in, in 2016 okay. versus like 08. No. Uh, but, but more importantly, and, 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 period. Okay. And the way we do that is... Okay. The political chair's responsibility is making sure that we get the prediction correct. And the way we do that is by setting up teams of research analysts to decide who each state will predict as their nominee. And that's Better? thoroughly research? One yes. The research is conducted over the whole three years, and it involves talking to... I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really going, bad so at this. That's, that's now going to the history of it, okay? Okay. Because it's not always correct, but, there were, mm -hmm. but yeah. recently it really has been. Mm -hmm. So start with the history as you know it, okay? Okay. And then jump ahead as to why, slowly but surely, things have really gotten much more accurate in prediction. Okay. Ignoring the weight. <laughs> but actually, the weight would be, but we'll find out from the OE people that we're talking um, so Mock Convention is a long-standing tradition at WNL, and we are the most accurate mock convention in the nation. We have had 19 out of 25 correct predictions, and on top of that, we have been very consistently accurate in the past years. The reason for that is the students have worked harder and harder to make connections with politicians and people back in their home states to make sure that the research is as well done as it could be. Tell me, do you know, say in the 60s, how they were, how they made these predictions versus how you do it in 2016? I have no idea how they did it. That would be a lot of work back in the 60s to have to make so, individual. So I can't imagine how they did it back, you know. <laughs> That's going to make me sound really dumb. <laughs> before computers, the, before okay, the okay. Because, you know, you know that, that didn't exist in the 80s either, quite frankly. Yeah. But well, to say something, I couldn't imagine how they did it back then. It must have been so hard. Nowadays, we have all these things that are resources at our disposal. Okay. I don't want to say I can't imagine, because that's going to make me sound very, very dumb. Yeah, okay, you can say um, Okay. Uh -huh. Well, back in the 80s, there was a lot less technology, and so research would have been much more difficult for them, and making correct predictions back then took a lot more focus and rigorous research. And now we sort through most of our data because we have the internet and we can make phone calls a lot quicker and easier. Uh, let, me, let me think. Um, because you work just as hard as me. Well, I know, but uh, so it's a different kind of research. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah it, it, you can say it must have been really difficult, but back before the you know before computers, uh, it makes our job faster, but not necessarily easier because we've got more information yeah, to deal with. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, because all yeah. they did, quite frankly, in the '60s, which is a good example, they pick up the phone and they said, "Who are you going to vote for?" Yeah. Thank you, and hung up. Okay. How hard is that? Um, <laughs> okay. I'm oversimplifying. Yeah, no. But, but nowadays, the amount of data coming in is, is overwhelming. So just, so, so play up the, the, the data part. Okay. So, <laughs> so bad at this. Start, start okay. before the age of computers. Okay. All right. So back in the 60s, before the computer was invented, that was really, yeah. you know. Just before the age okay. of computers. <laughs> just, just, just before computers okay. to help you. Okay. You, you use computers to help you, right? Oh, yeah. every, 
everything's done on the computer, so, so pretty before much. They, before they, okay. Before computers could help you, they had to do it all by hand or by telephone. Now, we, now with computers, we, we use the internet. We use uh, Skype. We use whatever technologies available to get the information. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so where am I starting again? Uh, <laughs> Tanner, don't laugh at me. Before, before there were computers, they had to do it all by hand. Okay. They must have had to do it all by hand. This is a lot of bloopers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, before computers, the research teams had to do everything by hand. They had to make tons of phone calls. But now with computers, we have so much more data and so much more information that it makes our job faster, but not necessarily much easier. Um, any more history of my convention we want to talk about? I think that's pretty good. Um, anything? Does the certain certain are there upcoming technological advances that you think might play a role? For instance, yeah. In the, in the last one we had Twitter. Yeah, I was going to say. In 08, there was no Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twitter will surely play a big part just in getting the. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the relevant. Thing. So. But there may be other. Well, yeah, in recent years, uh, technology has played a larger part of the convention. For instance, in 2012, uh, Twitter and live feeding were very important. And hopefully in 2016, we can capitalize on the new technology and make it even more instantly accessible to people all over the nation. Okay, let's, let's now go into your personal experience. Um, and tell me uh, what your personal expectations leading up to and including the 2016 Well, my personal expectation is to work very, very diligently and very hard with my team. It's going to involve a lot of people, a lot of hours and late nights working on research. And leading up to the 2016 convention, I hope that that means we get the prediction correct. That's really my expectation and my goal above all. Better. That's perfect. All right, so now we're going to do the pleas to the prospective students. Okay. Why, would, why should a prospective student be interested in attending Washington and Lee because of the mock -up? Okay. And so answer that question. I think, a, I think a prospective student would be interested in Washington and Lee because you, and then look right into the camera. That one or that one? Oops. Now that one? Just, okay. You should be interested. Oh. So answer my question. Why, oh. why should a prospective student? <laughs> I thought you said <laughs> you. Right. Yeah, take notes yes. on yes. all my mess ups. Yeah. So, so, it, so, so now we're going into you. So Me. Okay, it's you. It's not we. It's not we. It's you. I, I think, and you can you can generalize the we. But, but I, I'm yeah right. I'm yeah. looking to the camera and saying you. What's, what's the reason you? The reason I think you should attend okay. is. Okay. All right. Tell me the reason a prospective student should attend WNL because of the mock convention. I think the reason you should apply to WNL because of mock convention is it allows you to have incredible real world experience. There are so many ways to get involved, political, financial, general, that there's nothing wrong. Okay, that was. Yeah, you, you can chat with me because, 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 okay. because, because it's, it's was, like they do in the, you know, all the sports stuff, they just sit there and talk, and every once in a while they yeah. talk to the camera. Okay. So, so just you can you can look around. That's fine, but mostly <laughs> at that camp. And what you were saying is exactly right. Okay. Okay. Um, so should I say it again? Yep. So say it again. Okay. So, so tell me again why prospective students should choose Washington Lee because of the money. I think that oh, this is so complicated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that you should apply to WNL because of mock convention, because there's so many different ways to get involved. It's a real life practical application of business and leadership and teamwork. And there are ways to get involved on the political, financial, and general aspects. Good. Now, the same thing I think holds true for the students that are here. Mm -hmm. If we show the video slightly we edited in two years. Yeah. So give the same pitch to students who are already here why they want to become involved as a sub chair or just show yeah. up as a delegate. Okay. Um, 
get involved. Well, that sounds really harsh, but is that okay? Well, I just can, want to say, like, get involved. Do, we can do that. I want to, so at the end, we're doing the one liners. Get involved <laughs> this is the one liner. Okay. okay, I think you should get involved because. Okay. And yeah, you can do it right to the All right. I think you should get involved with mock convention because this is your school. This is the memory that you will hold for years down the, this is. That, that's exactly right. But then, so, let's, so let's keep, let's keep doing it okay. get it right, because that's exactly right. Okay. Um, mock convention is one of the memories that you will have for years I think to come. Start, yeah. I okay. think you should get involved with the mock convention because of the memories it generates. Okay, right? yeah. I think you should get involved with mock convention 2016. Be, I, is it okay to say 2016? Yeah. <laughs> Tanner, stop laughing at me. It's hard, okay? I'm not yeah, adequately I'm prepared for that. Yeah. He'll be up there and you can laugh at him. Okay? okay. I think you should get involved in mock convention 2016 because of the memories that you will make. These are your friends, this is your community, and we want everyone to get involved. Get involved. A little bit harsher. A little, little bit more. A little bit of, you want to point? Uh, I can't point. That like, yeah, looks no, really dumb. Okay. I'm, I'm pointing because that's the way. Okay. But yeah, hold, hold the camera and big smile. And a smile. Yeah. Get involved. Yeah. <laughs> well, because the second you say it, I'm gone. But you have yeah. To, you know, you actually have to say it. Uh, current students, any speakers? Do you want to say anything to the speakers? Would it be appropriate for you to try to entice a speaker? Why should, why is it? Oh, I mean, I say something, okay. yeah. Okay, so if you're, if you're a speaker, why would uh, me, and so you're going to be using the mm -hmm. word you again, why is me as a speaker, why should I be interested in speaking at the mock convention? I think you should get involved. Okay, wait. Okay. Yeah, back to the camera. <laughs> okay. You, you can also start with, I think speakers would want to come to Washington and Lee because it's... Yeah, I mean, the, that's what I think. And then, then, then step into the, the U. The U, okay. Start with speakers. Good. And then I mean, you. And, and you can do it right to the All right. I think speakers should come to Washington and Lee and speak at mock convention because it's a great platform for them. We are the students that will be voting in the elections, and they want us to get informed. I think you should come speak at WNL because we are the future of the you yeah. okay. So start with, I think you should come and speak at WL because we are the students, we, okay. we are the future. Okay. All right. Yeah. I think you should, I think you, <laughs> I think you should come speak at. Okay. Um, I think you should come speak at Mock Convention 2016 because we are the next generation of voters. I looked away at the end. Does yeah. that matter? All, all the eye contact. <laughs> That's perfect. I have to say it again? Okay. I think you should come speak at Washington. See, so, so the nice thing is it's only the, the one good take. It's always the last take. Yeah, that's because you stop <laughs> when you're ahead. OK. I think you should come speak at Washington and Lee's mock convention 2016 because we are the next generation of voters. I love the emphasis on we. Do, it, do that again. OK. <laughs> I think you should come speak at Mock Convention 2016 because we are the next generation of voters. Okay. One more time. Oh my God. Yeah, it's what did I say? This is hard. This is how this is why I'm not an actor. <laughs> this is why I don't do these you things. Gotta, gotta I'm behind the scenes person, okay? Okay, that's why I'm standing here. All right, all right. I think you should speak at Mock Convention 2016 because we are the next generation of voters and the future of America. Is that that's, that's, that's the awesome. last take. Okay. Awesome. Good. How Thank about God. That? Yay. Okay, and you've, done, you, you, you've given me one-liners, right? Any more one-liners you might want I to I just do? said get involved. Get involved. Well, that's to your fellow students. Do I need any other one-liners? I don't think so, but you may, you know, it's the most fun you'll ever have or I, I'm going to be exhausted, but I know it's worth it. Something yeah, like no. So you personalize it. Can you I can just... You can say it to me. Okay. This is gonna, I can't say that. I was going to say, I'm going to be the most happy when it's over, but that's not... <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> but no. No, I know. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. I'm really bad at this. But you can say, I know it's going to be a lot of hard work, uh, okay. but I'm ready for it. Yeah, but I'm ready for it. All right. 
I know the mock convention is going to be a lot of hard work, but I'm really excited for it. That's good. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.